Hey guys, today we're going to cover rigging, a highly requested topic, and I'm sure a lot of you are uh, have been waiting for this for months. I'm sorry. So this is what I'm going to do. This video is going to have two parts. The first part is I'm going to remove Fam3's hat, and then I'm going to put a bandana over his head. Uh, and then the second part, I'm going to grab uh, another skin, namely the SWAT skin. I'm going to get his vest, and I'm going to put it over his body. Uh, this is a video tailored for people who have never rigged in their lives. Uh, this is not really rigging. This is, you know, more like, I don't know, it's a part of rigging, but it's not really rigging. But a lot of people in this community call it rigging. So right now I'm um, cleaning up this guy's head. As you can see, his head is completely ruined. And that's because Rockstar, when they made this skin and put a cap over his head, uh, didn't model the rest of his head because in a game, why would you have faces that the player can't see? That is a waste of resources. And that's what they did here. Here, They modeled his skin according to his hat. So the head is cleaned up. I'm gonna grab is a bandana that I took from player.img. And you're gonna see an issue here, like an error. This is because Dragon FF um, is not completely tailored for player.img. It, it doesn't really support it. And as you can see, like I even had his texture in the folder and the model is white. But that is not a problem because if you want to do the same thing that I'm doing here, just grab the bandana model from player.img, uh, make a new texture, uh, get the texture from the TXT and import it just like this. Because despite everything, um, Blender is able to read the UV data from the bandana and this is why the UVs look you know, fine. So now I'm going to position the bandana over this guy's head. As you can see, like I'm, I'm using a mixture of scaling and grabbing the dude's the dude's head, and pushing some faces inside. You should, you know, use the tools available you have to to make sure that both models aren't phasing through each other. That that doesn't look good. I'm scaling them inside. As you can see, it looks fine. Like, I could even have no head. Before you take this in game, you're going to want to go to the bandana, go to the vertex groups, and delete everything except for the head. Why does this happen? Um, every object in San Andreas related to, like, that has rig, a rig, has vertex groups. And in this case, this is for the head of a ped. I only need the head vertex group. And this is only to save time because once I merge both meshes, the, the, the ped and the bandana, the head vertex group of both skins is gonna merge. And as you can see the head now, like as you can see there, uh, the head vertex group was covering the bandana and the, the ped's head. So I know that it merged. As you can see, the, the bandana looks fine. It, it is working fine. I'm doing several animations to show you. I even did, did the head move. And, um, and yeah, it seems perfect. So now we're gonna go to the hard part. We're gonna get that SWAT skin and we're gonna put his vest over this guy's skin. I'm gonna delete his arms, his head, you know, anything I don't need. I just need his vest and that's it.
to position it again like I did to the bandana. I'm going to use the scale, the move tools, everything. I'm going to speed this footage up. So now I'm going to go to the vertex groups of the vest. All I need is spine and spine one. Because this is a very simple introduction. This is not advanced rigging because if I went into advanced rigging, you'd have uh, weight painting. And for weight painting, I would recommend watching another video. Right now I'm in pose mode and I'm going to see if, I, if the mesh is working properly. I can't import any GTA San Andreas skins because unfortunately Dragon FF does not support uh, animation files. So what I do is pose the skin and see if everything looks okay. Um, in this case it doesn't look okay because I have part of the jersey uh, phasing through the vest. So what I need to do here probably is delete those faces or at least shrink them to a point where when the player crouches, you can't see the, um, the jersey. But regardless, I'm gonna show you how it looks in game. As you can see, uh, the mesh does face through, and this is like I said, I, I probably need to delete or move uh, those, those faces around. And there's also some um, some part of the mesh that's invisible, the inside, that's a normal issue. Uh, I'm not going to touch upon that in this video. The, the main point is the, the mesh moves with the body and that's, that is correct. That is correct, basically. The only issues that we were facing now uh, belong to the modeling department, not the rigging department. Uh, regardless, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was of uh, value to you. If, uh, if you want to stick around for more, like this video, subscribe, and join my Discord server. Um, we're nearing 70 people. We also reached over 100 subscribers. I'm very thankful for that. And uh, let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see next. I might post some speed sculpts on ZBrush, uh, some speed modeling videos, you know, just stuff like that. I think it, it'd be cool. Um, but yeah, see ya.